Hey everyone, I'm Sam with Rococo, and today we have a quick tutorial on how to get your Rococo mocap animations into Houdini. Dealing with FBXs in Houdini can be tricky, but this is the workflow we usually use. Also, Rococo Studio can now export body meshes, so what better way to use that new feature than with some fun smoke dynamics? Okay, let's jump into it. Here I am in Rococo Studio with the little dancing animation I recorded earlier. Uh, let's check it out. Yep, that will be perfect for some Houdini dynamics. Hold shift to create a segment because we don't really need the beginning or the ending. Now let's export this out for Houdini. If I right click on export, we can see that Rococo Studio can now export the body mesh alongside the skeleton. Let's select it and export. Okay, now for Houdini. Today I'm using Houdini Indie, and in Houdini there are always many different ways to do things, but this is the workflow we use for bringing FBXs into Houdini in a non-destructive way. If you have other good workflows, post them in the comments below please, and we'd love to check them out. The first thing we'll do is go to File, Import, Filmbox, FBX. Our FBX comes in way too large. Scale is commonly an issue when importing into Houdini, but we don't want to scale this FBX itself at all. Instead, we're going to make a reference object, which will leave our original FBX untouched. Hit tab and create a geometry node. Enter the node and then create an object merge node. We will then select the geometry from our FBX. This way, anytime we're using our geometry, we don't have to deal with all the actual bones and other data that come packaged in the FBX. Next thing I want to do is lay down a convert node to make sure our referenced geometry is fully converted to polygons. Then put down a transform node and reduce the scale to 0.01. There we go. And finally we'll add a null node and then we can hop back up to the main level. So now we have our FBX imported into Houdini in a non-destructive way. Any changes we make now won't affect our original imported file, just the referenced file. I find this is a much better way to get Houdini to work with FBX geometry. Now that we have our FBX in Houdini, we can play around with dynamics as much as we want. Here I just had our character emit some billowy smoke using the shelf tools and then played around a little bit with gravity and with other settings, and here we go, we have a fun smoke character. We could use this same character to play around with liquids or some rigid bodies, whatever we're looking to play with. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. It was intended to simply help you import your FBXs into Houdini in a clean and non-destructive manner. Thanks so much, and check back soon for more Houdini tutorials. Thanks everyone, bye.